So guys, boom. What in the who did we all just witness? Guys, in one corner, in one corner, we have a 20-year-old NBA player from the wild city of New York that just got into the league on a rookie contract. And on the other end, we have the greatest NBA player of all time, multiple time MVP, NBA champion, the player that looks at his hand before he shoots. And I don't know how people don't know he's finna shoot it. We have this man, LeBron James. Now guys, who in the who would have thought that we would have got a WWE main event at WrestleMania in the nba featuring these two players now guys i'm not gonna lie the memes about this entire situation and incident it's all been killing me but i couldn't go another single day without talking about this situation now let's just break down and kind of look at this entire situation first off i don't know if you're watching this video with no socks on i don't know if you're at school work english class if you're on the toilet making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with some grapes and strawberries guys i don't know what you're doing but can we all just take a quick second and take a huge moment to really just stand up to thank this man cade cunningham specifically for saving the entire nba from what could have been another malice in the palace part two let's just take a step back and look at this video Say what you want about this situation, but I personally think LeBron James definitely threw that elbow on purpose towards this man, Isaiah Stewart. Now, his intention may have not been to quote unquote hit Isaiah, but maybe to send a message or simply just to get him off of him. With that being said, like I said, LeBron James is obviously at fault here solely on the fact that he kind of instigated this entire situation. If he didn't throw that elbow, none of this would even be occurring. And like I said, he did throw that elbow with some type of intention now after isaiah got hit with that elbow things kind of were calm a little bit he was kind of relaxed and then boom i'm sure he sees blood on his face and this man just went banana mode chasing after this man lebron james now real quick in the comments do you guys actually think that isaiah was seriously going to touch lebron or even fight him we see similar situations like this all the time and he may have just been doing this for the cameras who knows what do you guys actually think but like I said, once this man Isaiah started going banana mode ballistics, this is where I think he kind of kind of just went a little overboard and where I think he did overreact. Obviously, I know that everybody and every man reacts to certain situations differently, but I think as an NBA player and as a hooper, things like this can occur and it just doesn't give you the reason to just go tackling, bulldozing and just disrespecting your coaches and just not being able to calm down as if you're in the NFL, just like it just doesn't make any sense. And it, I just think it's uncalled for. I think Isaiah did go a little too crazy about the entire situation, especially since LeBron was trying to apologize after the entire incident. Now, if you take a look from here on onwards, here's the main thing and the main juice of the situation and a huge takeaway on why I feel like this man, Kate Cunningham, should be rookie of the century and why I think that Cade Cunningham is that dude. The man was the only player it looked like from, from the video that we seen. It looked like he was the only player damn near that was trying to calm down Isaiah Stewart in the entire situation. Majority of them were coaches and staff. And Cade being the leader of the team, being only 20 years old, showed a ton of maturity about the entire situation. And you realize that things probably could have got a lot worse if he didn't step in. Even after Isaiah started running towards DeAndre Jordan, Russell Westbrook, and LeBron, Cade was the only player chasing this man. I'm telling you, if Cade wasn't telling Isaiah whatever the heck he was telling him, holding him back, being the calm down guy in the situation, Isaiah's career right now would probably be in jeopardy and this entire situation would be a whole lot different. To be only 20 years old with this level of maturity and to be the leader, and he also finished the game with a triple-double. Guys, come on, bro. Cade Cunningham, he's that dude. I still can't believe people are really calling this man a bust, but guys, that's the NBA. The NBA loves drama, but like I said, Isaiah Seward, LeBron, I don't know what that was, bro. What do you guys actually think about the entire situation? Guys, please comment down below. Should Kay Cunningham get a raise for this? This man, like I said, he did what nobody else was doing. People are making jokes about it, but this this situation could have been a lot different if Kay Cunningham was not trying to, you know, calm down the entire situation. Do you think Isaiah Stewart should be suspended for this incident? Do you think LeBron should be suspended and at fault? What do you guys think? Just comment down below. 
and let's get a great basketball conversation started guys if you made it to then thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you if this is your first time on my channel i make nba content high school and just everything basketball related it's a great community here so please make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and also smash the like button as it definitely helps me out a ton just being a small channel so yeah with all that being said guys thank you for watching make sure you follow me on instagram at juice Mayhoos with the extra s at the end check the links in the description and with all that being said guys thank you for watching and it's been another episode of Juice May TV. Peace.